Hello everyone. Today we are going to build this on score image reveal animation using XJS, GSAP and Tailwind CSS. Let's get started. I am already in my next app and I am a local server running in localhost 3000. The first thing is go to app go to k.js first let us screen all these things and go to global search css take out all these default statements instead give margin of 0 padding of 0 box sizing of border box background color of black text color to be white and give a width of 100% and give overflow x to be hidden so next thing what we are going to do is we are going to create a component inside the root folder create a new folder called components inside this components we shall create a file just name it so now let us import this component inside page.js import image review now we will start working inside this component we will start with html and css so inside this div we are going to have three nested divs For this div, give a class name of width of full grid columns of 100% grid relative margin top of 10 view height margin x of auto margin bottom of 40 view height justify center item center and margin left of 100 pixels by first inner div give a class name of grid item so grid item is going to be our custom class relative and margin of 0 and for the innermost div, give a class name of grid item image. This is also going to be our custom class. Relative overflow hidden grid place items center width of 70%. Height of auto and give the aspect ratio of 1.5. So inside this div, we are going to have our caption and image. So for our caption, mention another div, give a class name of grid item caption. Inside this div, we shall name Eiffel Tower Paris. And next, we are going to have our image. And give the source of I have all my images inside this public folder and give a class name of grid image and width of 3 by 5 height of 4 by 5 background of 100% 
and give it a background cover it's going to be deleted yeah now we will check yeah as you can see we got our first image now go back now we are going to have five similar images like this so copy this grid item and paste it five times below it now we will check again yeah we got now we shall change the names and the images Yes, now I changed all the images. Now we shall check. Yeah, as you can see, we got all our images. Now we are done with HTML and CSS. We will start working on JavaScript. So before that, we have to install few dependencies. Install GSF and Studio Break. Learners. It's installed. Now we'll import them. Import learners from Studio Pet Learners. Also import GSAP from GSAP. Also import scroll trigger from gsap slash scroll trigger import use and act from the act and don't forget to mention use client now we have imported everything now we'll work on javascript so inside this function first let us register the plugin so gsap dot register plugin of scroll trigger and also let us define learners after this open up a use effect inside this use effect first define a grid item so we'll be getting some DOM elements to animate. So const item equals document dot very selector on log. Great item. After this, we're going to have two important functions for smooth scrolling and another is for scroll animation and we will define this both inside another function Now we will first start working on this smooth scroll function. So inside it, update Lenis as new Lenis of mention lerp to be 0.15 and smooth wheel to true. Below it, we will create another function. To run at each animation frame, we we'll create const crow function equals 
linux dot or a f op time so this function is going to get a parameter of time and below it call request animation frame and pass in this call function so this is going to be a recursive function below it again call request animation frame and will pass in this function so yeah we are done with smooth scroll we will check yeah as you can see we got this smooth scrolling effect now we'll go and animate these images so inside the scroll animation mention grid item dot for each for each item mention gsap dot timeline for first mention the defaults and give each to be power four below the default we're going to mention our scroll trigger the scroll trigger and it's going to trigger on each item and give a start of top bottom equals bottom minus 15 percent give end to be n plus 100 percent and scrub to be true now we'll start animating our dom elements so you from two pass in item dot query selector of first we will animate our grid item image grid item image and initial from give and for initial and, and for initial from give a scale to be zero and transform origin to be zero percent zero percent and for two give a scale to be one this is for the grid image item next we will animate for grid image so again give from two pass in item dot query selector of grid image comma initial from going to have scale of zero transform origin to be 0% 0% and in 2 give a scale to be 1 and initially it's going to start from 0 So we are done with grid image. Now we will work for this grid caption. So finally give from to pass in item dot query selector of grid item caption. And give initial y percent to be two hundred and initial x percent to be fifty 
our initial opacity to be zero. And give a ease of power one. And final y percent to be zero. Similarly, final x percent is also going to be zero. And final opacity to be one. And initially, it's going to start from zero. Now this is it. Now we shall check. Yeah. As you can see, we got this. Nice image reveal animation. I hope you guys liked it. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.